What's up friends, foes, subbies? Yes, I am going to chime in once again. And I see I got a few people mad, so mad that they have to mention me without mentioning my name, but everybody knows you talking about me in their videos. Uh, you can't help it. You're upset because people like to come and watch my lives or any like little videos that I do in regards to this couple. Uh, well, continue to be mad make your videos i'm gonna make my videos i have people that appreciate it so i'm doing it for them anyways this video right here i swear to you i didn't even finish it i started laughing i said let me just screen record this is going to be real brief i am still dealing with a lot a lot a lot a lot i haven't been home for a minute literally had to wash clothes because i ran out of clothes just got them off the wash so i gotta fold them so real quick let me do this as my phone charges this clip i'm about to play for you hilarious but i'm gonna tell you why i'm even talking about this title is we are moving uh the closet is still junky too y'all like it's ridiculous like I think we need a bigger house, and we came to the conclusion that we need a bigger house. I don't know why, but yeah. Hey, everybody. I had to, like, replay this for you. Did you hear what she just said? <laughs> just in case, if you didn't. I think we need a bigger house, and we came to the conclusion that we need a bigger house. I don't know why, but yeah. Hey, everybody. I know why. I know why you guys need a bigger house and this tends to happen a lot as this person said I am the woman that constantly brings up the n-word today I'm going to refrain from saying it but you already know what I'm alluding to a lot of times these types of people are in constant competition with whoever they are in a relationship with or broken up with uh friends with like they compete with everybody so as most of you know lily has moved out of her home into a bigger home a bigger town home i don't know if it's bigger or not it just looks pretty beautiful from what she did share with us and being that this is her new home it seems to me as if these two need to compete. This is my personal opinion and you can't be upset with me for having one, okay? They put their business out there for us to view and for us to speak on and to comment on. So I will comment on my own page. So if you do not like my commentary, why the f are you watching it is the question. The point that I'm trying to make is when you're dealing with people like this, they always have to one up on you. They legit have not even been living in their home for six whole months, but they're already talking about moving. And if you watch this video right here, y'all, they keep saying, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They don't know why they want to move. You want to move because you don't have enough closet space. Is that what it is? Because how about you hang your clothes up? And see if you have enough closet space. Not have it on the floor. I understand you guys are constantly doing fashion videos and whatnot. But Graham sit there talk hella shit about Lily having a messy ass car. But y'all crib is fucked up. Does that make sense? I don't think so. How are y'all pointing the finger at her being a messy person? It, it, her car is constantly dirty. You never talk about her home being dirty, Lily's home, but you talk about her car being dirty, but your crib is dirty. Your brand new crib you guys just got less than six months ago. And you already want to move. And it's just hella fishy to me that you want to move now that Lily has moved into her new place and started fresh. Now y'all want to start fresh and y'all want to move far, far away. And based off of Graham's video, she says something about she's only into L.A. fashions. We only like shopping in L.A. Y'all are so corny. So superficial. Move to L.A. and see how much y'all pay for rent. 
and see how bad the traffic is because they're giving excuses as to why they don't want to live in Atlanta. Well, I don't know. It's expensive here, but then it's really expensive other places too. All right. Okay. Then the traffic. Well, guess what? Atlanta traffic compared to LA, California traffic is, oh my gosh, there's no comparison because California, LA area, whatever is worse from what I see and what I've heard. Okay. So you guys go on ahead, move there and see how your struggle will be. Over here, all of a sudden, Atlanta is too close to home. You just not feeling it. It's not your type of crowd. It's not this. I don't know. I don't know. And if y'all don't believe me, let me just play a clip where they just sound so clueless as to why they want to move. There's a lot you could do in Atlanta. There's, there's shit you can find to do. However, it's like, I don't want to. I don't know. It just doesn't give me life like it wants Like free to. spirit yeah. vibes. Like, I don't know. I just, it's not giving it's not given. It was cool for the beginning part of us. It definitely was definitely cool in the beginning part, but now. You see how quick they're ready to move on to something new? That's how their relationship is going to be. If y'all can't sit still in a new place for at least a year, how are y'all going to last in your relationship? Y'all just got this crib. It makes absolutely no sense, and it just goes to show how simple-minded and immature y'all both are as a couple like it just doesn't make sense stay where you at stack your bread and then find a bigger home but y'all want to just jump and move and go wherever and i'm assuming it's la because graham's talking about that's where she likes the fashions and that's where she likes to shop all of a sudden i was just like i don't know it's not giving i don't know and we're both really close to our hometowns, y'all. Like, literally, like, and both of our hometowns are, like, coming together and coming to Atlanta. And it's, like, I don't want to keep seeing people from my hometown. I don't, you know, I just want to be far away. I want to feel unreachable, like, untouchable. I am untouchable now, but no, play, not playing or nothing. You just don't want to see, uh, just be reminded of where you, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Be reminded. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why you guys made this video. You should have kept it to yourself because it makes absolutely no sense that you guys are coming on here talking about how you want to move and you're going to move, but you don't know why and you don't know and you don't know. How about get your video together and move and then talk about it. But you're talking about it now. Why? Because Lily just, I guarantee. Oops. Excuse the noise in the background. I got a lot going on. But back to what I was saying. Lily probably didn't even finish moving her things into her new place. And now all of a sudden, y'all are ready to move and start fresh. It's just ridiculous. But hey, it is what it is. I where you came from. It's just like you just don't want to be reminded that it's that close to home to where you still see people that you grew up with and shit like that. It's just want to feel like a new start and new beginnings and it's hard when you're running into people that you know right. all the time you ran to a lot of people you feel like yeah i ran yeah. A, i ran to a lot of people from chat even when even even that time. no even as simple as you talking on the phone outside our house and you seeing somebody yeah. your cousin the other day right yeah that's what I'm talking about, like, she's from new york though and that's so crazy that's just how small wasn't that weird <laughs> you ran into your cousin the other day she's from new york though yeah well uh it's just they're trying to find a reason to find a reason to have to move or want to move didn't you guys know when you went to purchase or y'all made it seem as if you bought the home most likely you're renting it you guys didn't put that much thought into your home before you moved in and how about you just stop buying shit if you don't have any space be reasonable <laughs> Like all the fast fashions you guys are, are buying, you're not, you probably don't wear your clothes more than once, you know, and judging by some of the material, you can't wear it more than once. It is, even though I believe wherever we go, it's still going to be small, but it'll be, it will be far further away from where we are now. Right. So See right there. She wanted to move because she wanted more space. 
now she goes even though we move it'll probably be small but at least it'll be further away from people we know now here goes another reason so get it together figure out why you want to move oh yeah i want to move yeah you want to move yes i'm ready to move let's move yeah. something something bigger what's your idea of house size um my idea of house size is i like a probably i really want like six bedrooms for real for real i really want to okay i'm done like this was where i ended the video when i decided to make this i'm gonna end now because clearly my bubba got some things going on <laughs> and i need to tend to him i just wanted to make this quick video i am not camera ready plus i got a lot going on and i have to get ready and dressed to get out of here and i will explain what's going on probably in my next live and yes to the people that i said i was going to make a video i am hobble no i'm at give me a second come you can come but don't say anything all right so i'm with family right now so i'm going to go ahead finish doing what i gotta do are we gonna step out okay and okay i'm trying to end this i'm trying to end this <laughs> but yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one until then Leave your comments below. Let me know what you want me to talk about. And yes, I did see the picture that Grams um, posted that Lili had um, had in that bag. We'll get into that in a live. I'm not going to do that on this video. We'll do it in a live. And y'all could, could share your thoughts then. All right. Peace.